you guys. So I woke up today and guess what? I won 1,600. And that's amazing. And like a lot of people are like that's not a lot and whatever, but 1,600 people that watch me and that support me enough to even subscribe is just amazing. Like, just want to thank you guys so much. I've never really taken time just to thank you, and I really do appreciate you and all the lovely messages that you always send and the compliments and even you lot that are rude. It's fine. But I appreciate those too. Because they contribute to a view. <laughs> but seriously, like, I couldn't ask or wish for better subscribers. Like, I love you guys. Honestly, like, amazing, man. So, thank you. Is this too dark? I haven't even set up my thingy problem. I need to hurry up and talk because I've got kids to pick up. So, seeing as we are on... I'm not even going to bother with... All of this, I should put the light on now, should I not? Mm. It make a difference. I suppose we can have some lights, we can have some sort of professionalism in this bitch. But, um, I've got to hurry up because I've got kids to pick up. Um, I just want to say, yeah, thank you guys once again. And because we have hit a milestone so my next goal is like 1,700 and from 1,700 I want to go straight to 2k and then I'll be a bit happy kind of what happens from then is alright because I'm already achieving more faster than I thought I would because I wanted to get to 1,500 by November so to be on 1,600 is a lot and it's just bigger than my goal so thank you guys um, let's do a serious topic. So, I've had like messages and conversations with fellow subscribers, and it all boils down to just being single and stuff. And so, like, I've made a video about being single before and like why you could be single, but that was just from another perspective of me just giving some reasons. But, like, I want to talk about the difficult the like the things that's hard about being single because a lot of times people don't know like you being single for a certain amount of time could is actually kind of could be up like your own worst enemy because I think me being single for so for so long it really as much as you hear you learn to love yourself and all that it really does bring out a lot of insecurities and it makes you quite shallow in ways that you don't really recognise because almost you kind of always want someone that's better than the last person and so like every time that you you meet someone or every time the longer you're single the more expectations you have without realising it and so you just get to the point where you're like oh my god next person needs to have this, 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 this they need to do this, they need to do this they need to look like this they need to be good looking I don't want no, 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 no and it just kind of like it doesn't, I wouldn't say it turns you shallow but you almost feel privileged because now you've been single for all this time someone that comes into your life needs to be an asset and all of this and that is exactly the wrong mentality because you're not really giving people a chance to show you the qualities that you really need to maintain a fruitful relationship because we are going so much over over we are so into we get accustomed to the physical so everyone is always overlooked if they don't look a certain way because you've been single for so long it's just easy to be discouraged like when you're single and you're dating, it's so easy to be discouraged, especially the more dates you're going on, the more people that turn out to be dickheads. And then those end up being securities for insecurities in future relationships when you do get into them, which you don't really notice or even think about. Like, nothing is ever a thought until you proper meet someone that you've proper fallen for, and then you start to notice everything come out. And it's so bad. It's like, and how you was treated and the lack of love that you were shown all comes out in your ne it will come out in your relationship in insecurities it does and that's how you know if you found a good person because a lot of people would make excuses and run away from that why someone would be there to guide you through it and not make it seem like an issue like because they're not going anywhere um 
I'm going to talk about how to find a good man in another video. This is just going to be mainly focused about being single though. Um, another thing that's annoying about being single is when you're single and there's people in relationships. And like when you do like want someone or something's not working, like and they go, don't worry, like it's not your time yet. When it happens, it's gonna be nice. Things happen when you least expect it. And then like that's it's like just shut the fuck up sometimes because that's like the last thing you want to hear, especially from someone that didn't even meet the person they're with the way they're talking and I know sometimes like that's a really nice you do you're trying to be a friend and give advice but like the wrong that's like the last thing someone wants to hear it's so patronizing I always I began to get so tired of it because I was going on dates and I was meeting people all types of ways it just wasn't a one step way like I would get chat up on the street I'd meet people in clubs I'd meet people in shops like I'm very a fortunate person like that because I, I've had people come up to me on the street stopping cars and all that rubbish whereas a lot of people just rely on dating online and whatever but so like I always met people all different types of ways and it all just turned out rubbish and and you got people, no, don't worry. It's just like, shush. I would rather someone just be like, just, 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 ugh, don't worry, baby. You know, just go on another day, like, whatever. Like, you just have to keep doing it. It's going to be hard. I wish someone would just be, oh, would have been like, it's going to be hard, but if this is what you want and someone's what you really want, don't be discouraged. Don't ever let anything discourage you. Just keep going out on dates. Keep meeting people, but don't expect so much. That would have been good advice. And... Don't worry, maybe you just need to focus on yourself. Maybe you need to love you. Oh my god! Do you know how annoying that was? It's like, how much love do you want me to put into myself for God's sake? There's people that I've broken and drug addicts that find the loves of their lives. So don't patronise me, please, because I'm half loving myself. Oh. Um, what else is annoying about being single? Yeah, like, it just gives you unrealistic expectations. And then when you do see people in relationships, you're always like, oh my god, I want that, I want that. And it's like, when you do meet someone, you kind of go into a relationship with all of that stuff. And you shouldn't put so much pressure because your relationship is going to be different. Not everything you see outside is what it's portrayed to be when it's behind closed doors. So, I would say, like, it's just, you always should have to be open-minded and always open up yourself and always have faith. And you're definitely going to get let down. But... Don't ever dismiss someone just because of the physical. Allow dates to happen. Allow to get people, allow, I get to know people and see if they do possess certain qualities that will make for a fruitful, beautiful relationship. Because don't put so much pressure on anything. Just go for the qualities and remember, if you want something, you have to possess, you have to possess exactly what you're asking for and what you want. Like, you can't just be like, you want this person to have this. You have to sit down with yourself and be like, am I actually possessing these qualities? Because every time I thought I was caring and I thought I was in, I was be, I, I'm worthy of being this and I give this, I give this. Sometimes I will just shout things out, like out of the ordinary. Like, I need someone to be like this. And someone's going to come out like, he needs to have this, 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 this. And when I sat down and thought about it, why, would I keep, why did I keep attracting the same type of people? Because... I was shouting out what I wanted and I wasn't possessing what I wanted. Everything I was saying I wanted, I was the opposite. I was attracting selfish, greedy, betrayal, liars, cheaters, like everything besides kind, caring, sweet, loving, you know, determined, motivated, wanting something more. What would honestly make you happy? Like, what would someone have to do to make you happy, to make you happy every morning that you're with this person, to, when you're with them, like, what, what is those things that is gonna make your relationship last? You know, because, when you think about it, <laughs> a damn right, I'm so happy I never end up with anything that I was ever with. God, it would have been a disaster. Oof, terrible. Because none of those people possess any sort of qualities that would have been worthwhile for me in the first place. And the one person that did, I'm with. And I didn't even know. I had to go through shit and it still was there. And I, I still made it away and I still made it hard and it still was there. So when I decided to be like, you know what? 
let me just let down these guards let me stop thinking of wanting this 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 and this and just give this a chance like and when I did whoo Junior fell off that cliff of love <laughs> because you say it sometimes the person that you're meant to be with is just right in front of you but there's so much there's good to being single but I just don't think it's good being single for too long I really don't this, this can be so annoying as well like it's I think the one thing that could be as well that's really bad about being single is having a lot of people that are single around you because not everyone's single for the same reasons that you are and you mixing with people I noticed I was with a lot of people that were treating people the way that I was being treated but then they would still justify their singleism with while I'm single and then we'll be talking and like it's just like if that's what they're doing keep, that is what you're sort of attracting as well because you're taking on their issues and you're taking on their problems when that is not even nothing to do with you but you just mingling and associating yourself with that type of negativity is definitely not going to bring you anything fruitful so you really need to analyze what you're giving out who's around you what are their friends like if you're going to analyze things analyze everything as a whole like, don't just go at face value because you will be very disappointed. Trust me.